YouTube, welcome back to the Shooters Club. Today we're going to review my summer carry. This is a P365X macro, and I'll go over all the stuff that I put on here. So stick around to the video. Spin that. All right, we're back in the studio. Just finish up this review on the P365 build. Right here, just go over some of the specs. No rounds in the magazines. Magwell, we are clear, safe direction. Safety up, we are good to go. All right, so let's just jump right into it just to go over my summer carry. I've been carrying it for roughly four to five months. Uh, just getting shots up with it. And uh, yeah, let's just go over this build real quick. So I went with the P365X macro frame here um which you know fits my hand perfect even with the magwell right there i have some room and it just cuffs right there on my pinky so it doesn't slide off i know uh with one of the other slides uh bills that i have here i have to have the magazine in it just to catch my pinky which is fine uh you know you just have to get extra magazines and go from there but yeah x macro frame uh have the radian uh, this is their back strap that is all one piece with the magwell here and it fits perfectly um in here with the uh base plate the true 17 uh, ma um magazine base pad or base plate from uh radian so it's all um their uh, radian all of their new products you can go straight to the website and just check those out so it looks super sharp back here but it's not at all uh it tapers down so as your hand comes up in there you know if you press in really hard uh, you can get like some some marks on your hands but it's not too bad or anything like that uh feels good it feels sturdy to me you know just that good texture there the stippling actually on the x macro frame is pretty good to me too i don't think i would send it out to get any extra stippling on it uh let's see here moving on up to the fcu so the fire control unit you know for uh sig all of its lines the p320 and p365 is modular so you just take this out i could throw it in my other frame that i have on the wall here uh, i just went with the gold just to help uh you know pop a color in there uh, i actually did uh on this right here install the external safeties just because like i said with me personally appendix carrying i'd rather have external safeties on there so i have them on any other uh my cs my xc that i would uh conceal carry and you know with me just training and taking it in and out of the holster boom as soon as i come up and i clear it i click the safeties down and you know i'm ready to fire uh so just training with it you know i don't think it slows me down you know you've seen some of my shooting uh i don't think it slows me down if it does tenths of a second hundreds of a second honestly just to pull that out and flick and right as you're going out uh so yeah i, I installed the external safeties on there <laughs> so make sure you get the frame that will take the external safeties i think they're like 50 bucks or something like that on sig uh on their website uh do you ever get spam calls text messages or emails and just wonder how do they even get my information in the first place if so, then stick around and let me tell you about today's sponsor, Aura, and how they can protect all your personal information. Data brokers work super hard all around the clock just to gather all your personal information from your physical address, your phone number, your email address, and those of your family family members just so they can sell it to spammers and scammers so they can hit you up with the off chance of committing fraud uh, or getting some more information from you, some money, have you sent money here, different things like that. If you've ever been scammed before, you know how that goes. Uh, but you don't have to worry if you have Aura because they have a built-in system that can monitor all of that, safeguard all your personal information and keep you safe. Recently, Ticketmaster was hacked and the data of 560 million users were put up for sale on the dark web. The data stolen included their names, addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, and credit card data. Now I've used Ticketmaster a lot over the years just to buy uh, events. Uh, tickets for events from NBA games to concerts and that definitely has me concerned. So what is Ticketmaster going to do about it? Nothing. They said that they didn't think that the actual hack had a material impact on our overall business. All these businesses collect all of our data but do nothing to keep it safe. Now Aura alerts me if any of my information is a part of any type of data breaches, any leaks or is out there on the dark web. It also gives me uh, fraud alerts if someone tries to use my data to access my credit cards or bank account. And it removes all my information from any data broker websites so that I get less spam. So don't become such an easy target for these spammers, scammers, and data brokers. Protect all your information, your uh, family's information, all your assets. Click the link down below, aura.com slash shooterkev. Your first 14 days are free. That's two weeks. Try them out, test them out, let me know how it goes.
Uh, let's see, moving on up, the P365X, just the X slide on here so that it will fit flush on the X macro frame. Whenever I put the Parker Mountain Machine, uh, their comp and barrel, I have it in there and I'll show some close-ups overhead of this and everything. But um, yes, that that uh, their comp is, oh man, it's probably, I have it on my P322. I actually, you know, love their company, love everything that they stand for. Um, the price was not too bad, I think three to $400. Uh, you know, they have a lot of sales throughout the year, so just try to catch them for one of those if, if need be. Uh, but I highly recommend them, and uh, I'll show some of their footage of them um, in a, at, at the range so they'll show whenever they're doing testing uh they'll have like a like a system setup that they uh did that they built that shows the actual recoil reduction you know some places might say 30 40 50 percent uh recoil reduction or different things you know uh reduction and you never really know you like of what you know 50 percent or 40 percent less reduction reduction of what you know what number what data do you have so they have all the data there and i'll show you you know it, as, they, as they pull like a string they have like this like their uh pistol set up in a frame and everything as they pull that it'll go and they can gauge it just by how much recoil it actually does and how much it uh, uh reduces with their all of their comps and uh you know i definitely reached out to them I was like hey can i use some of your footage and it was like go ahead so shout out to those guys parker mountain machine uh let's see over here i have the tactical development uh thumb ledge which i really love these things you know i have one of my the cs and everything um just recoil reduction you know i shoot thumbs forward so just like all my other videos boom i tighten down on that grip it does not get in the way of the slide i'd highly recommend picking one up it goes right to my tlr7 sub this is the sig one make sure you get the correct TLR7 uh, flashlight for whatever firearm you're running so that you don't run into any issues on the pick rail up there. And let's see, I think that's just about everything. Let's go over the holsters. This is a QVO tactical holster with the metal wing. This is, you know, depending on where I'm carrying it. I just like the single, um, uh, without the extra magazine uh, pouch, the extra magazine uh, uh, holster. So yes, it'd be 17 plus one, which is, you know, plenty enough. Or if you want to have the extra 17 round magazine, sometimes I carry it just like this. This is from Havoc Holster, which man, this came in the mail super fast. So if you want to have this set up and have your wingman style set up, you know, you can barely print with this. It has like this bungee cord here so that it is really uh, uh, comfortable as you're wearing it for a good while. And let me see, I think that's about it. Going over this, uh, you know, from the video, the footage and everything, it is a great shooter. And the last thing that I added to the pistol is the Hollow Sun 407K. It's the optic for some of the slimmer line uh, slides that we have out there. Um, I don't have any issues with it, you know, as I press up, it is right there. It's smaller window and everything, you know, gear it towards your concealed carry just so that it's not printing. Uh, but any of the other ones, I don't have an issue. As long as you have a great holster with, a, with you know, the proper wing or setup or anything, no optic is actually gonna print. You'd be more worried about the uh, uh, magwell or the magazine or something like that print, but your optic, I mean, you can have your Acro P2 on there, your SROs, doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, but yes, this is super slim. Like I said, I just wanted something lighter for the, uh, for the summer. My Staccato CS was, you know, it's not heavy, heavy, but um, I definitely just wanted something that would be slimmer lighter uh, just for a summer carry and i love it i didn't know that i would actually um want a p365 i love P3, p320s you know from the flux defense that i have up here the um different builds that i have right here with this frame and the icarus frame i love shooting p320s uh so yes yeah, my first p365 i know radiant is about to come out with their barrel and comp very soon so just to compare it to the parker mount machine i'll probably end up picking that up putting it on this same slide i know it'll fit flush on this x macro uh, frame with this same setup with this p365x slide so i'll definitely probably pick that up and arc division is about to come out with something that'll fit this exact frame the x macro frame on here because uh they have already have the p365x 
uh, uh, slide and barrel, that, you know, theirs is ported uh, just for their, for, just for the P365X, not the X macro. So I just wanted something to be completely flush. So as soon as they come out with that, I'll probably end up getting both of those setups from Radiant and Arc and then just compare to this and get back to you guys. So let me know down in the comments if you have a P365 uh, in any type of variation. Let's talk about it. You know, if you like the external safeties, if those bother you or anything, like I said, when I flick, flick the external safeties down, I always ride it with my thumb anyway. So it just helps me. It's just good practice. And I do train with this a lot. Uh, yeah, get out there, you know, train and let me know down in the comments, any questions that you have, let's hash it out. Let's talk about it. Are you a SIG fan? Are you carrying a uh, Glock 43X or what you're carrying and stuff? But uh, I'll catch you in the next one. All right.